Hey guys, what's going on? It is 3.09 p.m. September 26, 2017. That is Eastern Time. Uh, this is not a hurricane update. I'm going to put that in the title so I don't confuse people. But uh, for those of you that uh, really enjoyed that meteor video I showed earlier today, I want to show you something even cooler that actually is on the same video that we uh, got more frames of throughout the day. And I checked it when I got home. And this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, it's actually a sun diving comet. Now, they're not super, super rare. Um, I do have a video where I captured four of these in one day, and that was an expected uh, progress throughout the day. They knew these uh, comets were coming, and so there were people out watching them and stuff like that. I don't think you could see them from the Earth, but on these instruments, you were able to see them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll through the video really quick, and just to show you, this was the video that I caught those meteors on. I'm going to find the frame. There it is, right there. Here's the, the uh, snapshot I used for this morning. These are the meteors passing between... Uh, the satellite, the Earth, this is in, uh, lined up with the Earth, so this is the same direction the Earth is facing towards the Sun. So these pass between the Earth and the Sun, these uh, meteors here. And now I just want to clarify something. Someone mentioned in the comments that um, you don't see the tails of meteors until they get to the atmosphere, and that is true uh, because they are burning up in the atmosphere. What you're seeing here is basically like a blur effect. They're moving so quickly, and because this instrument takes snapshots over time, uh, the snapshot actually sees the blur of these things moving so quickly. So that's why you don't see them every day. There's always meteors passing between the sun and the, and the earth and this camera. But a lot of times you don't catch them because they're so fast. But this is cool to see because you have multiple. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that I can count here. So I think that's grounds for a meteor shower, at least out in space. Now this is what I really want to show you. It's really cool. I'm going to move forward in the video. This was uh, captured today, actually. It started this morning. There it is right there. You can see it coming out of the frame in this part here. I'm going to start there and just check it out. There it forms right there, and it's heading right towards the sun. That's why they call them sun diving comets. Once they get close enough to the sun in their orbit, they're, they're drawn to the sun by magnetic force. And what they want to do is they want to go towards the sun and then around the back of it and then continue their orbit out the other side. But the thing is with these comets, especially the smaller ones, uh, Comet Ison being a good example, even though that was a bigger comet, a lot of people expected that to round to go around the sun and then exit out the other side and continue its orbit. Uh, but according to the information, it actually broke up and was destroyed by the sun. It may have even hit the sun. Now sometimes these do hit the sun and they can cause CMEs, those coronal mass ejections we see. It depends on the impact. But this one doesn't look to be big enough to cause anything like that. Um, what I think will happen with this is it'll be burnt up by the sun before it even gets a chance to go around it. That's usually what's, what happens with these small ones. But still, guys, really cool to see these. I have a couple on my channel from a few months ago I caught, like I said, with those four in one day. Uh, you can check that out uh, at the earlier videos on my channel. But um, I haven't seen one in a while, so I figured this would be really cool to show you guys. It emerges, and then you see it making its way towards the sun. Now, I have a closer view of it, but really quick, I just want to show you. In a couple days, you can see this disk looks a little bigger than that blue one. This is the blue chart here, the Lasco C3 combo, and here's the Lasco C2 combo. Now, this gray image on the right are the negative images of what you're seeing here. So you'll see a frame pop up here, and then the next frame, it'll pop up on this side. So it's a little bit of a delay, but you can actually make out a lot of cool things in these... Uh, these gray screens here. So in a couple days when this thing gets closer to the sun, if it doesn't get burnt up already, we're going to see it enter this frame really a, a lot closer than this view. So that might be pretty cool. We'll check on that in a day or two. But um, I have a close-up view. I want to show you real quick. Here it is. You'll see it emerge. There it is. And heading right towards the sun. And again, chances are this thing won't make it around the sun. It's pretty small. It depends on how close of an orbit it has to the sun. It depends on the speed and the size. So we're going to keep an eye on this one. Really cool. Really, really cool. I'm going to back it up. We'll see exactly where it starts. And you can actually see it. You might be able to even follow this thing from the edge of the frame. Here's the round part, the edge of the, uh, the disc frame we're talking about. So you might be able to, if I did some effects and stuff, you might be able to see it come into this side and then emerge. But here we go. Here it is right here. See my mouse? That's pretty cool. And then you move forward, and there it is. You see it get brighter and brighter as it gets closer to the sun. And some of the uh, comet Ison actually had a really long tail. That's the sign of a bigger comet. Some of these don't have long tails because they're really small, but they still are comets. I'll run it through one more time and then play it once more. 
there it goes. Sun diving comet for you guys. Pretty, pretty cool. I'll keep an eye on this and I'll keep you posted. Earth uh, hurricane video uh, update on Maria and Lee coming up shortly. Thank you guys.